Hello, I am back to finish the rest of the questions from 26 to 50, and I'm just going to go ahead and start right into it. Reason for joining YouTube, I was inspired by a friend of mine who had done the 50 questions, and I had watched it, and it looked like a lot of fun, got to know her, so I thought, you know, hey, maybe I'll do it too, and because we are moving soon, so I thought it would be fun for family and friends to kind of watch and keep in the loop of things. So that's why I'm making the video. What are your fears? Being in deep water. It sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Um, I'm not afraid of spiders or snakes. I mean, I'm, you know, it's like, ooh. But being in deep water freaks me out to the core. Um, I was a lifeguard, and I did okay because the deepest was six feet. So that was manageable. But being in like a big body of ocean, uh, you know, water or whatever, a lake, it, I don't like it. I don't like not being able to touch it. It's, it's a little freaky for me. <laughs> Last um, thing that made you cry was saying goodbye to family and friends over Christmas break. Um, we're moving soon out of the country. So it was a little hard, you know, hugging everybody goodbye. And I got emotional about it. So that was definitely the last time I cried. I didn't want to I didn't want to leave anybody. And um, the last time I said I love you was this morning to Corey before he left to go to work and he woke me up and you know was like, "Okay, I'm leaving." So, last time I said I love you was this morning. Meaning behind YouTube name um it's Ashley Chittister because I don't know how to change it. And <laughs> I'm not very tech savvy. So um, I thought, well, Chittister, you don't really hear a lot of, but you do hear a lot of Ashley. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot of meaning to it, but that's just what it is. <laughs> Last book that you read was Teresa Caputo's There's, no, um, There's More to Life Than This. She is a medium, and she is amazing. I love watching her show on TLC. And it was a fantastic book. I liked it. Um, the book currently reading, I'm not reading anything right now, but I'm hoping to read her second book, You Can't Make This Stuff Up. Um, she's funny and hilarious, and you know her stories are really touching, so I can't wait to read that. Um, we travel a lot, and so we're you know either in the car or the plane. So that's um, the, the times where I get a chance to get to read. So I don't read a whole lot. But, you know, when we're, like, traveling in the middle of things, it's like, okay, I'll grab a book. And that's what I would grab. Last show that you watched was Friends. Um, my mom got me this really cool, like, complete pack thing. And so Corey and I have been watching that. And I think he's really enjoying it. It's funny. I love it. You know, with being the Christmas season and all, a lot of things, you know, go off air for the break. And, you know, just for, like, noise and quiet. You know, or not quiet. For noise. Um, to go to bed with. We do like to watch Friends. It makes us laugh. So we watch that together. Last person you talked to? Um, I just got off the phone with my brother um, a little while ago. Um, I like to kind of check in and see what's going on, say hi, you know, kind of catch up and stuff. So, um, the, um, the relationship between the last text that I got, um, I was texting my brother-in-law, Ethan. I love that kid. He is more than a brother-in-law to me. He's like a brother. Um, it's funny, him and I were friends before Corey and I started dating. So it's always kind of like a fun little story to tell people. It's like, oh, I was friends with your brother before I was friends with you. So, I mean, that what makes me feel that much better about being in their family is because I just get along with them so well. And I'm so grateful for that. So, text to my brother-in-law. Favorite food? Anybody would know this. It's macaroni and cheese. I love mac and cheese. I can eat this all day, every day. Uh, it's my like go-to comfort food. Um, so, I just love it. I've always loved it. People make fun of me, and it's, I don't care. <laughs> um, place I want to visit is the Bahamas. We went on a cruise, and one of our stops was at the Bahamas, and it was so amazing. We got a little sunburnt, 
a lot sunburnt and it hurt but we just we didn't even care it was so amazing over there and that is definitely a place I want to go to again for sure I don't usually like to branch out and try new things and do new things but you know once I do get there it's like oh my gosh this is amazing you know why am I not doing this sooner so that's Bahamas for sure again um the last place you were was at a country bar and it was for New Year's and it was a lot of fun um we you know we sung we danced we hung out um, had a few beers kinda had a good time um, I love country bars I wear my cowboy boots I dance it's a lot of fun have a crush I don't know if a crush is like butterflies that you feel when you like see something or see someone that you really like but I do get a crush every now and again on Corey <laughs> when we dress up and we're going, you know, going to go on a date later. And I'm like, ooh, you know, you're really cute tonight. So I have a crush on him, like, all the time. But, like, it comes out when it's like we're, you know, trying to impress each other. So, I mean, that's what marriage is all about. It's, it's fun. It's exploring. So my crush would be Corey. <laughs> Last time you kissed somebody was this morning saying goodbye to Corey for him to go to work. Um, last time you were insulted, I'm kind of, um, I live in a bubble, really, to be honest, so, um, when I, like, go and hang out with people, I try not to be too sensitive about it, I'm just trying to accept everything, but the last time that I felt insulted and kind of, like, okay, like, back off kind of thing, we went to Corey's grandparents' house for Thanksgiving, and, um, they were trying to teach me how to play cards, and I just felt like, like I was dumb, like I didn't know how to do it, and it was just kind of like, okay, like, leave me alone, I don't want to play anymore. Um, I mean, the moment passed, and I was probably just being a big baby about it, but, um, I mean, I mean it was whatever. And being insulted is just, it's not nice. <laughs> Favorite flavor of sweet would be my Reese's Cup. I love Reese's. I love peanut butter, I love the chocolate part, I just love it. It's one of my like all-time favorites, you know, go-to for a sweet tooth. Instruments that you play. I have been trying to teach myself how to play the piano for a little while. Um, I had an opportunity to take piano lessons um, a couple months ago, and I did learn a few new things, and it was a lot of fun. It's kind of hard trying to like catch up because I didn't take lessons as a kid, but I do love it a lot. Um, I've been trying to practice on my own. It's just, I get just so frustrated with myself, but that's the instrument I'm trying to play, is the piano, or keyboard. Favorite piece of jewelry is my wedding ring. I love it. Um, it was funny. Corey was in Mississippi when he had sent me the ring, so he wasn't actually able to physically put on my finger. I pretended it was him, but... And then a couple of years ago for our anniversary gift, he got me the band to go around it to kind of, you know, make it pop a little bit better. But I love it. I don't go today without it. You know, it's my wedding ring. It's my favorite piece of jewelry. It's, it's his way of showing that he loves me and we're married. Um, last sport played, I do believe dance, cheerleading, gymnastics is a sport. It, you know, it makes your heart go up and, you know, you get excited and you get sweaty and it's a workout. I believe it's a sport. And the last time I was dancing was at Infinity Event Center in Salt Lake with our cousin Susan. And it, it's a lot of fun. It's country line dancing. I get a, a, you know, a riot out of it. I love doing it. It's a lot of fun. So last time that I played a sport was dancing. Um, I do try and tend to play the Just Dance on the Wii every now and again to kind of, kind of, oh, okay, wake up, you know, let's get stretching kind of thing. So that's a lot of fun. I do that. Last song that you sung was At the Bar, um, which is one of my favorite ones. I, you know, I sing all the time, all day long anyway, but that one was the fun one, so I'll just, you know, talk about that. But... We were at the bar and, you know, our ladies in our group, we were singing Something Bad by Carrie Underwood and Miranda Lambert. And it was just, it was fun because, you, know, you know, we were a little buzzed and feeling and we, you know, we're just getting really into it and pointing at each other and, you know, Something Bad, you know, we were the four 
you know, little badass blonde chicks. It was, it was fun. So, that was the last song I sung out loud to anybody. I sing, like, all the time in the house. My favorite chat-up line, or, like, pick-up line, um, I don't really know if I have one, but from Joey, from Friends, he's like, how you doing? <laughs> That one, you know, Corey and I do tease around with that one a little bit, but um, it's whatever. I haven't really been picked up in a while, so I wouldn't really know what's out there. Um, but the, have you used it? Um, I mean, Corey and I tease with it, like in the house, but I mean, not really. It's just kind of, it's just something fun to do and say. And um, last time you hung out with somebody was for New Year's at the bar. We had um, a, you know, a decent sized group go with us for New Year's. That was a lot of fun. Um, we don't usually go out a whole lot, so when we do, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to, you know, talk with people and catch up and, you know, have a few and just kind of, you know, feel good and dance and have fun. So, that's the last time we hung out was for New Year's. Um, who should answer these questions next is the last question. And I would love to hear what Corey has to say about this. I don't know if he ever will, but I think it'd be kind of funny to listen to what he had to say. Um, I think it would be kind of cool to hear my cousin Susan do these. She might do it, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Um, but yeah, but really anybody. I would love to hear what you would have to say. And it's just fun. I was really nervous about it, and I still am. But it's, it's kind of fun to get your word out there. You know, people get to know you a little better. So here I am. I hope you liked it. And Happy New Year, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.